Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey racing fans, welcome to the pilot edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap, where each week we will take a look at a featured race in Southern California and hope to provide you with some insight to help you cash a few winning tickets. There's a strong nine race card at Santa Anita Park this Saturday, including four graded stakes races. The card is headlined by the return of Breeders' Cup Juvenile Philly winner Songbird for Jerry Hollendorfer and Fox Hill Farms, as well as Los Alaminos Futurity winner More Spirit for Triple Crown winning trainer Bob Baffert. While both of these runners are sure to provide fans with excitement on Saturday, they are unlikely to provide much value. Both look very tough to beat on paper and will most certainly be short priced. So let's look to the eighth race on the card, the Grade 2 San Marcos, for our play of the day. The San Marcos is a mile and a quarter event on the turf for four year olds and up and appears to be wide open. There are several ways to go in this race and appear to be potentially a few vulnerable favorites. One of them is number seven, Flamboyant. This French bred for Patty Gallagher put together a career best effort last time when he ran down obviously in the San Gabriel. While it was an impressive effort, it is hard to expect him to replicate that effort. Remember, he was 46-1 to in that race for a reason. He had not won since April of 2014. Will he get another perfect trip again and repeat that effort? I don't think so. I'm going to pass on number 7, Flamboyant. Number 3, Chiropractor, is a beautiful son of Kitten's Joy for Glen Hill Farm. I really do like this horse, but not so much over the Santa Anita turf. He is yet to hit the board in two starts and just asks himself too much to do over a course that generally has played towards speed in the first several weeks of the meet. I think that this horse has a shot to run on late, but I don't think he has a shot to win this race. It is what will probably be a short price under Drayden Van Dyke. So I'm also going to pass on number three, Chiropractor. My value play in this race is number nine, Abbeyvale, a Moss Vale gelding for Phil D'Amato. Abbeyvale seemed to be prepping last time out in a mile event against fellow barn mate Hey Dude, who wired out of the field. Abbeyvale ran on well late and did not seem to be asked much by Rafael Bayarano. Bayarano returns to ride, and I think he'll be more prominently placed early, sit a great trip, and hopefully have enough to run down this field and hold off any late runners. While I do will use number nine Abavale to win in place, I will also play him in exotics with number six Ganesh, a Brazilian bred for Richard Mandela. While this horse is yet to win in the States, he gets regular rider Flavian Pratt back up and should sit a perfect trip. It's hard to trust him on top since he hasn't won yet here, but I do think he will run a big one. I also think number five Powerfoot is an interesting value play for trainer Neil Drysdale. He's already proven he can run both at this distance and over the surface. And Drysdale is due. I do not think he will win the race, but he should put in a good effort and provide plenty of value in the exotics. So let's look to number nine, Abavale, as our value play in the race. Let's box him with number six, Ganesh, number five, Powerfoot, and play a dollar trifecta key with Abavale on top of Chiropractor, Ganesh, and Powerfoot. Good luck to you all, and let's get it started well. 